if you tell people you're an insomniac, nine times out of ten, they will say, oh, really? Because I'm always asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow. <laughs> yeah. And I always want to say, what, if I was blind, would you have said, oh, really? Because I can see perfectly. Right? <laughs> it is David... David Bloody Blub. Yes, you do look Actually, like Snoop Dogg. I was Dog. looking like Snoop Dogg. I, mean, you, I heard what you said you, and I thought I'd better take all that stuff off. <laughs> you look... <laughs> you know, you, they might not recognise me. You look great. So what I've done is very... Oh, God. I'm, oh, <laughs> nothing's fallen <laughs> off the chair. Sorry. I've done some slapstick with the chair. Your, your lovely other half... Yeah. Um, Hang on, I can ask you how I am. No. Okay. Uh, your lovely other half... Moena or Mo- Frank Skinner? Moena Banks, yeah. who uh, not only, in my eyes, is beautiful, but very, very talented and very funny. Yeah. I don't know. I've never I'm not going to say no, am I? That's going to get me in terrible trouble. <laughs> You've been together for so long now. Yeah. Do you remember the, the, the moment where you just thought, she's mine now, I'm just not going to make an effort anymore. <laughs> I've got her. <laughs> I don't need to shave, so wash, yeah. pick out clothes. I'll just she loves me now yeah uh, I think it was four or five seconds after we met it was, <laughs> it was that beautiful you know love at first sight it comes with laziness at right, first sight okay. in my case yeah uh, things how have are moved you? on haven't they luckily yeah uh, how am I well I, I was just, I was just going to say fine uh, but the truth What's is up? as you know Come about on. me I yeah. can't lie mm-hmm. and obviously I'm not fine look at me as we've talked about well, uh, I am, well I am fine really in the greater scheme of things I'm mm-hmm. about to do some first world privileged stuff now but I firstly I'm an insomnia Here's the key thing. I'm oh, insomniac. Really? Yeah, I've always been well, an insomniac. genuinely now. Yeah, genuinely. I've always been an insomniac. On on the plus side, only two sleeps till Christmas. That's, hey. that's ah. a gag. That's a gag from my show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm that's an insomniac. I'd do another one. If you guys, there's an old gag. I talk about this. Uh, this is a real thing, actually, not just a gag. It's a real thing, which is if you tell people you're an insomniac, Nine times out of ten, they will say, oh, really? Because I'm always asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow. <laughs> yeah. And I always want to say, what, if I was blind, would you have said, oh, really? Because I can see perfectly. Right? That's true. Amazing. That's true, yeah. Anyway, as a result, oh, I, yeah. what I've noticed, I used to have trouble getting to sleep. But in the morning, I used to be able to sleep well. And that's why I chose comedy. Because it meant I didn't have to get up in the morning. Right. And I could sleep until 12. That works. Yeah, but as I've got older, I mean, not just because I've had to turn up and do your show, I can't do that anymore. I wake up about half six... And I'm awake. Mm. Yeah, I'm awake. That's it. And day. do you suffer from then tiredness during the day, or is it yeah. just you do? Yeah, oh, gotcha. <laughs> oh. And then I find myself napping like a pensioner when I'm supposed to be, you know, working and listening and whatever. So there's that. So that's number one in my how are you. Mm-hmm. Number two is I arrive here and that very nice man over there, what's your name? He's sir? not a man, he's a, like a boy. He's like a big Jay. boy. I'm 33. <laughs> that very nice big boy over there. <laughs> Comb your hair, do your makeup. All right. He says, <laughs> he says to me, oh, you've cycled him, which I did. Right. He said, mm, where have you left your bike? Right, and do you want to move it into the basement here? And I'm like, there's not enough time for that. And now I'm just worried about my because he basically oh, it's said, gone. "If yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. If yeah, you yeah, leave yeah. your bike anywhere near Leicester Square, it's gone." Yeah. Is basically yeah. what James told me. The bike thieves have had a year off, and they're just now itching. They'll take it while you're still on it. Absolutely. Now. Really One thing about it. my bike, it's because because I'm lazy. It's an e-bike, right? Which, which includes a digital lock and. It says if it gets nicked, the bike hunters, I don't know who they are, will immediately mobilise and go wow, and look for it. That's apparently. cool. Yeah. Hey. The Dutch, because it's a Dutch bike, I think they come from Holland and they <laughs> spread out all over Europe right. looking Secretly, for my bike. Secretly hoping that happens yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. It's what, got a tracker. Great, what a great life you lead. I'm <laughs> sure you. you've got insomnia, but then look at your bike. Yeah. Radio. The Chris Moyle Show.